you are watching Safira's recipes. So come on, let's cook together. Hi, good morning, good day and namaste to each and every one of you who are watching this video, this channel of mine. So it's my recipe time and and now this time it is going to be different and it's pickle time most of you must be already knowing what this vegetable or fruit is and um, this is actually known as bimla or bimli it's also known as uh, uh, cucumber tree and or it's also known as sorrel tree sorrel and this vegetable I would say this fruit is grown wild in every in most of the parts of the Southeast Asia throughout Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, India and Sri Lanka. This fruit is completely sour and full of water and it's yummy when you make a pickle out of this. There should be a little bit of uh, spiciness in this and then you can have it with your uh, with your rice or with your dal rice or even plain so this is coming out fresh from my garden and this is how it looks I'm so excited to share this recipe with you and it is pickle time for everyone so get started and get ready my first step is to wash these completely clean take off all the dried leaves and stems that, that they have and then wipe them dry and then chop them and this is how I begin my process of making this lovely beautiful pickle. Now I'm going to take each one of them, I'm going to cut their bottom and in the front and clean each one of them like this and then I'm going to chop them this big the bimlis are chopped well and um, now after weighing in the whole thing it's it weighs about uh, two kgs so it's two kgs and for this two kgs you just go according to what uh, how many uh, quantity of uh, spices you'll need to put for this so first of all I'm going to add two tablespoon of salt make sure you don't add too much but just add minimum then you can always taste and see so I've added two level tablespoon of salt eight tablespoons of chili paste chili powder three teaspoons of turmeric I'm going to mix this really well and keep it aside mixing this really really very well so that each piece gets its uh, spices now I've taken three tablespoon of fenugreek uh, seeds three tablespoon of uh, rye that is mustard seeds and one full teaspoon of peppercorns I'm going to dry roast these and make them into powder and keep it aside the pan is hot I'm going to first roast the mustard seeds
I am taking them off now. Adding in the fenugreek seeds and roasting them too. I am going to add them all into this mixer and make a powder. Now the peppercorns. Now we'll take them off. I'm now going to dry roast the three ingredients together and form into a powder. In a pan, I've now taken two full cups of uh, mustard oil and I kept it for heating. I will add these sesame seeds into the oil and fry it for some time. And soon after that, I will be adding in the one and a half teaspoon of asafoetida which is ing. Hing. The powder is ready. It's really smelling really very nice. I also will be adding in two cups of jaggery. I've added in the roasted powder. Now the jaggery. And I'm going to mix, the, mix this really well. The oil is hot so I'm adding in the sesame seeds. Please note that uh, this is optional. If you don't have it, it's alright. You don't need to have it. Now I'm going to add in the asafoetida. I have added the mixture into the oil, into the hot oil. And I'll be stirring and cooking it for a while. My pickle is getting cooked. So I just needed to add a little bit of more sugar because I thought that I needed a little sweeter. So I added uh, 3 tablespoons of sugar. I'm going to leave it for cooking for about another 10 minutes because they all have to get cooked. They're still raw. And... Uh, you can add your salt as according to your taste. Also, if you need to add more sugar, you can add. If you want it even more spicy, you can add more chili powder. And let's cook it and it's really looking good. Now, if you like my recipe and you're all planning to do it, so please like, share and subscribe to my channel. This is a beautiful recipe. It's awesome, tasty, and you'll able to enjoy it. Your subscribing to my channel will really motivate me too, and I will be coming up with even more recipes. So please motivate me, dear friends, and thank you so much for watching. The bimli uh, pickle is ready. You can now take it down. You'll have to keep it for cooling for some time and then fill it into your glass jars and then utilize it whenever you want to have it with your food or as just like a chutney or whatever you whichever way you want to have it so it's all done and ready and set to go once again friends thank you for watching this is how my pickle looks it's already tasting so sweet, sour, tangy, spicy. So try it out at your homes. If you all have excess of these bimblis growing in your house, so you can do something like this with it. So bye bye for now. And bon appetit.